Hi, good people. It's Amy from Saber Salvage Scent. I hope this video finds you well. For those of you who are new to the channel, this mostly focuses on all things fragrance related. For those of you returning, thank you so much for being here and for sharing conversation. This is not an ASMR video. It's about a thousand degrees in Cleveland, Ohio. I have my air conditioning blasting so that I can live life. And I also have the laughing I use and it's blasting so I can live life. I don't know what is up. It is a day full of feelings, a week full of feelings. I am asking myself, is this my brain emerging from the physical and mental lockdown of COVID? I don't know. Things are so intense right now. Happy things, loving feelings, um, vulnerability feelings, addiction feelings, um, possibilities, manifestation feelings, all of it. Why not do a perfume video? Here we are. So I'm continuing a series where I am reacting to decants and perfumes that friends have sent me. I have been so lucky this year for many reasons, including the fact that I'm kind of on a low buy. Beautiful friends have sent me decants and things to test and ugh, just can't believe how good some of these things are and what a great experience it is and how great it is to know all of you. Today I'm concentrating on a package for my friend Lynn. Lynn, you are so wonderful. Um, I met Lynn early during this channel and we had a lot in common as far as perfumes, but I also just have to say it has been such a pleasure getting to know you all and Lynn is a source of light in my life. She's also, and I hope you know this is the biggest compliment, a source of creativity and weirdness. Like. She has one of the neatest collections, totally marches to her own, you know, drum beat, so to speak. Um, has just like such interesting things. Every time I talk with Lynn, I feel so um, energized, comforted, um, enriched, etc. Lynn, you're the best. So, sent me this phenomenal tin of decants and a few other things that I think she sent earlier this year. So I, um, a couple of these I've tried, the rest I have not. I quickly though wrote out the names on scent strips so that I could make good use of your time and um, move through these and react to them. So here we go. I think there are probably about 20 scents. They range from, there's a Luton, um, Ital Libre de Ange, uh, Clive Christian, Harmonist, Le Labo, Hermetica, Rogue. Amazing, like most of these, most of these I've not tried. I think honestly only one or two have I tried. So this is gonna be fun. Um, I'm gonna start with the two I've tried and um, they both have like grown on me in different ways. So first, Serge Luton, Two Bros Criminal. What a nice size bottle, hello, thank you. Um, I'm gonna be honest, so I love this whole house. I think he was one of the first and the nose to take chances and do really interesting, just risk taking interesting things, artistic. I don't always love them. I often grow to love them. Um, Sam from My World of Fragrance, who is awesome, if you don't know her, I'm gonna link her channel below, talked about Two Bros Criminal. And I could not wait to try it. When Lynn first sent this to me, I have to be honest, I was like, I don't know. Um, has this happened to you that you smell something? This happens with me with music. I mean, probably one times out of 10, but or one time out of 10, where I try something, I don't like it. And then weirdly I crave it, I try it again. And then I'm like, oh, I really love it. It's growing on me. And then I like adore it. This is under that category. So it's too gross. And then this really, mm, mm, menthol-y scent. And when I first smelled it, it was in winter and I don't know if it was just like too minty for me at that time, but there's something about it that's super like grown up and refreshing at the same time to me now. Um, and I love that like the menthol um, takes the buttery sweet tuberose to another place. So it's got this like crispness and this energizing factor. So cool, love it now, love it, love it. Thank you, Lynn. The second one that I actually, okay, so interesting story. I took this 
to Paris. This is Italie Radange, uh, Jasmine et Cigarette. And I've been really excited to try this based on the name. I like scents that are either smoky or smell even like cigarettes. Um, I took this to Paris, but I ended up not wearing it. In, I wore it one time in Paris and then I didn't wear it the rest of the trip because I swear to God, this smells so much like Paris. So I was in Paris at the end of March. Um, white florals were already in bloom. I was at a greenhouse and people smoke more freely there, I find. I don't know if they smoke more, but I think they smoke more freely, if that makes sense. This literally smells like the streets of Paris. This smells like the spring, the beautiful white florals mixed with cigarette smoke. And now it is one of my favorite scents because it totally reminds me of being there. So love, love. So those are the two I've tried. The rest I have not. I'm gonna go fast. I'm not gonna talk about, I don't know who the nose is. I'm gonna talk about the house quickly and I'm just gonna give you quick reactions to things. So next, I did write the names down on the scent strips just to save time. This is Clive Christian 1872. <clears throat> and it says, citrus floral, who knows? Let's see. Mmm, bright. All right, I'm gonna spray it. Oh, this almost has a screechy quality me, to me at first. Mmm, as it's drying down, it gets musky in a good way. I like musk. Um, this is intense. It's like intense floral musk to me. It's interesting that it says citrus. I I mean, I get a brightness, but I, I don't get a lot of citrus, personally. I get musk. It's a really nice, and it's, it's getting soapier to me. To me, this is a really nice, like, super intense, clean musk. When it dries down, the floral comes out a bit more, and that screechiness goes away, and I really, really love this. I think this would be great right now, like, in the heat. Beautiful. Wow, that's cool. Okay, so I've never tried a Clive Christian. Um, that's really exciting. There is a Frederick Mal in here, and I can tell because it's got this gorgeous, it's really close to the color of my lips right now. Um, one of my favorite colors, right between red and orange. This is synthetic jungle. I have been dying to try this. Okay, so does it smell like chemicals? Does it smell green? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering based on its name. All right, spraying it. Mmm. Ooh la la. La 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 la. That smells like black currant or tomato leaf. This reminds me a lot of Diptyque's um, L'Ombre Dawn, though. It definitely smells like tomato leaf or black currant to me. Gosh, do I get anything else? Mm. I feel like I get white floral too, but mostly I get that black currant and I love it. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I apparently love black currant. I love it because it smells like the garden. So good. I love Frederick Mall scents and if I had all the money in the world, I would own most of them. Beautiful, fantastic. Mm. Thanks, Lynn. Um, next, Harmonist scents. Oh boy. Okay, the first is called Sacred Water. Um, I often think, I wish I would have tried to be a nose when I was younger. I wish I would have known that I loved perfume as much as I know now. Half the reason I would like to be a nose, they have the hardest job, but um, is so that I could name perfumes. Mmm. Okay, this is so different from the other things I just smelled. It really does smell like water. It smells like, water. it actually smells like a refreshing drink. It smells like I'm having a cocktail whilst in a cold lake. And that cocktail has a slice of orange. This smells amazing and this is, I have to have this. I've been wanting to try the Harmonist too, just from their bottles, they're so beautiful. This is gorgeous, I love it. 
Harmonist Sacred Water. Love the name. Yes, can I bathe? Can my can I bathe my spirit? That's kind of where I'm at right now. All right. Um, next is. Hold please. Moon Glow. Another great name. Moon Glow. Does it smell like the night? Does it smell like? What happens in the glow of the moon? Sometimes things bloom in the glow of the moon, like moon flowers. Right outside my door, hopefully soon. Oh, this is so different from the other things. This is gourmand incense. Mmm, it almost smells like cocoa. It smells like really buttery flowers, like definitely like, if not moon flowers, something blooming at night for sure. But I swear I get like chocolate, maybe even tea. It smells very gourmand. Moon glow. I mean, it smells like romance. That could happen under the light of the moon, right? Mmm, this is gorgeous. This is to me more of, it's interesting. I thought it would be a very summery scent. This smells like fall or winter to me, actually. Like, as far as the kind of things I like to wear in fall and winter, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love those. Okay, Harmonist. Another addiction that I need, clearly. Um, next. Uh-oh. It's Oud. It is called Vertical Oud by Hermetica. I have not tried Hermetica at all. I don't know about them, but I'm about to learn. Spray. Oh, guess what? That smells like oud. <laughs> so I'm like a little baby perfume lover when it comes to oud. I've been trying it for like five, eight years now. Five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. Uh, it's not grown on me much. There are a few ouds I like, but they're kind of an exception. This smells like the inside of a drawer. And some resin from smoking things is left behind in dirt. Sorry, y'all. That's kind of what I get. Vertical oud. I don't think oud's my thing, but I really love Lynn for challenging my nose, among many other things. All right. Oh, patchouli is next, a patchouli scent, and I love or hate patchouli. I used to think I hated it all, but I've actually really grown to love some patchouli scents. This is Le Labo Patchouli 24. Let us see what happens. I have high hopes. When I do love patchouli, I really love it, if that makes any sense. Oh, and this is one of those times. Oh, this is... Smoky, smoky. This smells also like resin. I love incense, so that always wins me. And it smells a little boozy, almost like vanilla. And patchouli, I love this, Lynn. Patchouli 24, who knew? Okay, mm, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. This is a problem. It's not a problem. Liz is one of the greatest, or Lynn is one of the greatest things in the world. However, she has turned me on to some of the most expensive scents that I love. So, mmm, good taste. Okay, next, Hermetica Amber Bee. How cute is that? I mean, I'm guessing it's gonna smell like honey and amber by the name. And I'm here for both of those things. Two of my favorite, favorite, favorite things. Oh, this is gorgeous. Now, coming right after that patchouli, this feels a little more subtle. This is not skanky honey, which I love, by the way. This is waxy, buttery, jammy, glistening. <laughs> I just said that, did I? Honey, it's beautiful. I love this. This is so me would absolutely wear this all through the fall and winter. It's gorgeous. Mm. Maybe even a hot, hot summer night. Honey. Great. Love it. Apparently, I love Hermetica because all three of them that I've tried, I feel like I need to own. All right. Next, 
The Harmonist. I'm gonna try to read this. I think it says Yin Transformation. And they, it seems like they have kind of hippie or spiritual, I should say, names. Oh, why am I smelling this? I haven't sprayed it yet. All right, hold please. Yin Transformation, will I be transformed is the question. Oh. Mmm, this is like herbal first go. Mmm, what else am I getting? Flora, what? This smells like super, super green rose and herbs. Not like, mm, not fall spices, but fresh herbs. Very nice. Definitely smells spa or hippie to me. It really does. Um, interesting, but I have something like it, but really, really nice. Um, that is the Harmonist Yin's tran Yin Transformation. And I have to say, I'm kind of relieved actually that out of four cents, I only need to own three that she shared. All right, next. I think I have six more. Lalavo Labdenum 18. Okay, people tend to love or hate Labdenum. I tend to love it. We'll see if that's true. I feel like some people think, or some women think it's too masculine, and I don't know, I like to kinda, I like fragrances that blur the lines. Mmm. Oh. Okay, this smells a lot like Musk Ravageur, which is one of my favorite scents. Some people find it skanky. I just find it like a warm hug. It smells so warm, beautiful, musky, gorgeous gourmand to me. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. I want to believe that this has similar things. So I would say probably like, hmm, honey maybe. I bet there's civet in this. It, ha it definitely has that like animalic leaning quality that to other people uh, smells skanky, but to me smells amazing. What does that say about me? I'm not sure. Um, oh, it's gorgeous. This thing, this thing. And it's getting powdery, which makes me think it has Tonka in it. Those are all things I love. So this is incredible. Incredible. I feel like a lot of, some Le Labo's overhyped and I'm really excited to love one of their scents. This is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So this is Labdenum 18. This is so Lynn. I mean, like, they're so interesting. All of these are so interesting. Thank you, Lynn. Um, Rogue. I haven't tried. Have I tried? I don't think I've tried anything by Rogue. Um, can she read it, though? Let's see. Um, this, I believe, says... Uh-oh. I. It's not good when I can't read my writing or... I think it says dervish. It doesn't say dervish. It looks like dervish. Does that, is it related to dervish? Don't know. These are little roller balls. So give me a minute here. I'm going to roll this on the scent strip. Mm, they must be high in oil content. Oh, okay. Speaking of cigarette smoke, this smells, I can't tell if it's, what would make something smell like cigarette smoke? I mean, I want to say ash, but I'm guessing there's leather in this. It's real smoky at first. Like, I would actually want to wear this as a layering scent. It smells like an ashtray in a good way. I don't know. Um, this is a gutsy perfume, and I think it would be amazing layered with things like, no joke, like bubble gum and vanilla and ylang ylang. Mm, that's so interesting and weird. Awesome. Okay. Next, Rogue. What does this say? Oh. Mm. I think it says Mousse Illumine. What would make something moussey? Is it lactonic? Is it milky? Um, give me a minute here. I'm putting it on this trip. Mousse Illuminate. Oh, I get like soft floral.
Mmm. Soft florals. It's beautiful. And honestly, like nothing I've experienced and therefore I'm not reacting much because like my head, I, I'm trying to get my head to wrap around it. So interesting. Wow. Um, next is one called um, Champ Luminaire. No, Champ Lunaire. So, as in like Champ Elysee, perhaps? Lunaire. Is that like lunar? Mm, not sure. Here we go. out of the rollerball. Oh, okay. This is a gorgeous floral. Who's to say, I feel like florals for me, I, I often love them when other people don't, but I really love when they're like highly composed in the way that I can't pull out all the florals. And this is one of those. I mean, I definitely get tuberose, but I'm not sure about what, what other florals are in here. And I swear it gets something bright too. And I'm not sure if it's like something like grapefruit or bergamot or like lychee. It could be lychee. This is beautiful. Champ Lunier. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong and correct me. I'm not above that. I need your help. Um, this is gorgeous. Oh, I love this floral. Mm, so good. Wow. Rogue is cool. All right. Two more friends. Oh, I've read about this. Sheep uh, Siam. So, of course, I'm expecting this to have oak moss and citrus and some kind of rock flower, something like that. I think that's the uh, triad that makes a, a sheep. Um, mm. So, a lot of people my age, I feel like, or younger, do not like sheep perfumes. I love them, and I think it's because my mom's signature scent was Halston. And there were a lot of great uh, Sheeper scents uh, around me growing up. So it's a very familiar, comforting smell to me. It's kind of hippie, but in a kind of chic Mary Tyler Moore way. Um, this is that, but not as mm, dry and leathery as some of them can be and more soft and beautiful. This is like, my description would be a modern sheep. Sheep Siam. This is beautiful, would love to own this. This is gorgeous. This smells vintage in the best of ways. It smells like the 70s when I grew up. Okay, last, Jasmine Antique. So yeah, let's see if it smells like Jasmine. Here we go, Jasmine Antique. Putting it on the scent strip. Mmm. God, you could have convinced me this was too gross because it smells a little like bubble gum, which I love. I love that. I actually have Bob Mackie on today, which smells like powdery bubble gum floral. This is, mmm. This doesn't smell antique. It just smells like, it smells like jasmine musk is what it smells like, which I guess is antique because that was kind of in style when I was growing up. But this smells like the softest, most buttery, silky jasmine. It's gorgeous. Must like jasmine, for sure. Absolutely beautiful. I do love jasmine. These were emotional and full of feeling like my week. Thank you, Lynn. I adore you. Thank you to this community for um, being so generous in every way. Let me know, have you worn any of these scents? I'd love to know what you think of any of them. And I will see you soon. I hope you have a great week full of good feelings. Cheers, bye.